at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Miami Dolphins. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. There he goes left side. How about this? He's to the ten. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Raheem Mostert. Dolphins will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, they said they wanted to have some explosive runs. How about that one to start the game? And I would say on the defensive sideline, there's a lot to answer for. Because you spend all week saying, stop the run. I don't care who you're playing. You don't want to get run over. You don't want to get run past. And they have both over committing in the secondary. And he just went stepping past them and is still running, essentially. One play, and he hits pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 22 yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start out here with the option left. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Six yards there on the keeper at second down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it, and while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's a second down and four. From the gun, Jackson. A short one there, caught by Lightly. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. First carry now for Gus Edwards. A credit to tackle to Brandon Jones. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Jackson going to keep it running right. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge game, but it shows how hard.
Yeah, I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained, and in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. Jackson looking to throw on third. And that's going to be incomplete. And we'll see this offense try to spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches, so they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. They'll start with the option. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And it'll be a turnover on downs. give to Mostert running right and a good push up front and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 93 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Oh his first throw of the game going to be intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to take possession here at their own 33. Well, your first drive of the first quarter, you get it down there, try to fire it in the end zone, and big-time deflation on that play. No doubt about it. They're moving and grooving and getting into position, and this is not the ending that they saw on this drive, is it? They had things going their way. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Second and ten. Jackson now. Setting up the screen here to Edwards. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Flowers going to go in motion right. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. What a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. Now remember they were unsuccessful earlier in this first quarter. Going for it on fourth. They're going to try a second time. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on down. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. So first and 10 now from the 30. They hand it off to Mostert. Oh, he bowls over it. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. And it is still early, just the first quarter. But you start prorating the numbers, and we might be in for some history. I mean, that last run puts him over 100 yards already, and we've still got three quarters to go. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Again, they'll run it with Mostert. And power running here down to 
the six-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the six now on second and three. Two are going to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Dolphins go up by two touchdowns. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. No run back here for DuVernay. Touch back out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. On second down, it's Edwards. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Jackson. He's got a man. Complete. Down to the 10. And all the way in for the Ravens. Touchdown. Odell Beckham. 77 yards. And the Ravens have got it back to within a score. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What, 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line.
First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. All right, come on. Balled it to 26, second and seven. A run with Mostert up the middle. 132 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Oh, and now some trickery. They fake the spike. Oh, but it's not going to work. He'll go down. They got him. Patrick Queen got in there to stick him. He gets the sack. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. A handoff running left is Mostert. Three yards on the pick up there, but they've only got it back to third and 10. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. He's a gain of three. Brings up third and nine. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust. And that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. 48 yards on the scamper there. Now that was a big run. It takes him all the way down to the one-yard line, and that will shake the confidence of any defense. So when they're looking for a little bit of support now, looking at their defensive coordinator, if I'm him, I dial up some pressure. I just go after him because otherwise, you're still to play it back on your heels. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Raheem Mostert on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Dolphins will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So what a first half that he has had running the football. That now three touchdown runs. And I would anticipate that when they get down in the red zone, he's going to get more chances as this game goes on. And I think that the guys blocking for him are going to ask for him to get more chances. They like the rhythm they've developed. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And he will be blocked out here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. Jackson. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised. 
brought to bring a little pressure on this snap. On third down, they're going to go with the option. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Lamar changing the play. Now Jackson on first down. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. The one with a dime looked on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. On second down, here's the option. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. In the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense is throwing at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive, but get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. They go play action now. Jackson. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one. And that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. And he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Third and two. Here's Jackson. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, they have any design to getting back into this football game in the second half. They're going to need to be much sharper offensively than they were on this opening possession. Not much happening here, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Tried the hard count, but to no avail. Trying to do anything to get him to jump off sides and pick up a first down easily. Instead, it goes against them. The Ravens send their punter out now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it'll be Dolphin football. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. It's the 22-yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Number one, hurry. Number one, hurry. A game of four. It's now second and six. 
Second down, here's Mostert again. And he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. Here is third down and four. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Able to find the open man, that's complete. It's a big play there for Miami, 42 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. On the handoff, this is Mostert. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain, followed by a sizable loss here. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Tua sets up to pass it. Open man downfield is Hill. And yeah, he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode. Really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. 187 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. From the four, it's second and a couple. Once again, it's Mostert. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he will take it in for the Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. On third down, it's short and everything well executed. He not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. There's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action yet. They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. They work now on second and nine. Here's Jackson. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Jackson. Now he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. 
Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Boy, not deterred from those first two failed attempts. They're going to go a third time here on fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything. A fucking bomb. And a turnover on downs. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And boy, that means this next drive is going to...